Farewell to the one man that brought me joy to this world. And I'm gay. Ugh! Alright, what's going on guys? It's your boy the Death Smasher, and today I'm going to be doing a 10 10 10 review of the best unit in the game. Being Yachiru. No, 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 no. Not the red haired Pianch. Not the. Excuse me, not red haired. Not the pink haired Yachiru. I'm talking about Yachiru Unahana. Also known as Retsu. But whatever. She named herself Yachiru for a reason. And. Yeah, as you can see, my U my Retsu is 10 10 10, and this time we're just gonna be doing uh, three uh, three builds, being uh, strong attack damage, normal attack damage, and uh, hybrid. So I'm gonna be uh, going over what she has. Anyways, she is one of the best units in the game for many reasons. So okay, so her attack it's pretty high, but not the highest in the game because the one that has the highest in the game is the Full being Shikai Ichigo, but even then that guy does not have flurry, so technically standing, it's true Shikai Ichigo that has the highest attack in the game and has flurry. But anyways, even though her attack is uh, slightly lower than true Shikai Ichigo's, okay, she has Captain Killer, she has damage reduction, her special heals her team and has a, sm has a small chance to insta-kill, her second strong attack heals... She has a 30% ber Berserker. Uh, okay, 16. Well, yeah, you already know 16% damage reduction. Long reach 20%. Flurry, Sprinter, Poise, and Medic. She is still being used in PvP after a whole year and a couple of months ago. And, yo, she is still the PvP queen for many reasons. However, she is also amazing for PvE. And Saint Kaimon quests, not for guild quests, but for but for PV in general, she is amazing. Anyways, I'm gonna be right back, guys, and uh, build her full nads. Actually, no, not full nad. Excuse me, full sad, and get on with the showcase. So yeah. All right, we are back. So we went full SP with her, gave her a Yuki uh, pill and rope, all with 30% SP, and uh, normal strong attack damage length of 20%. They're all at low 200, and because it's a 10 10 10 build, I do not have uh, any uh, strong attack damage 25% links for heart. So I'm gonna have to make do with this, and uh, of course, settle with the 30% Berserker, which is now a 90% Berserker. Anyways, let's just go ahead and get into Inheritance Zone and showcase this bitch and see if her strong attack damage uh, build does stand out in, in, in Inheritance Zone. All right, let's go. Let's just go ahead and see if her strong attacks are. Oh god. Okay, some of the enemies did not die, but it's not a problem. Second strong attack, and that hollow. Yo, what the fuck? What is up with the enemies dodging? Yo, that's not cool. Yo, even then, my normal attack is still doing quite the damage. <laughs> kind of surprising, really. But let's just see, I, we're gonna just mainly focus on the strong attacks for now because that's the main focal point of the, the strong attack damage build. And I have to say, so far, I'm not liking the strong attack damage build whatsoever. Like, it's having a hard time trying to kill out, kill off enemies. I overall do not recommend this build right off the bat for, um, for Inheritance Zone or PvE because she's not doing as much damage, even when she's 10-10-10. I, I'm still doing more damage with my fucking normal attacks, and that's saying a lot, because she has fucking flurry, that's why. But bruh, not even my third is killing these enemies, yo, what is this? Like, I get that she has a 30% berserker, she doesn't have a good killer, but damn, that that's... And here I thought that Horihime sucked, but no, her <laughs> Retsu sucks even more when it comes to her strong attack damage build. Like, seriously, she's doing shit damage, and I'm doing mainly more with my normal type damage, like, what the hell. I mean, in the end, you can try going for a hybrid build, which is, uh, gonna be a bit better than the strong attack damage build, believe it or not, but, I don't know. Now that I think about it, like, she's not doing 
that much damage. But hold on, let's just go ahead and uh, kill these enemies. Uh, but yeah, strong attack damage build. I'm overall kind of disappointed. I'm doing more damage with my fucking normal attacks. That's the funny thing. Like, literally. It's taking way more than two, than two strong attacks to kill the enemies. And hold on, let's go with the first. Boom, boom. And, goddamn. Not, not too impressed with this build, I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting a bit more like, okay, I know, I'm using someone who has flurry, has captain killer, no soul reaper killer. Like, it's to be expected, but even then, 30% boost per circle, that's actually kind of low, and her SP is also kind of shite. Like, her SP is at 620. But hey, we just gotta review the, the lowest of the lowest when it comes to builds for characters every time. And see if they're actually usable. But, I mean, don't get me wrong. Even though she has flurry, she can actually stop some of the enemies with her strong attacks. For one coming up against uh, strong attack damage characters like um, Mangarukia, Mangato Shiro, and more. She just can't stop the ones that have poise like uh, Kenpachi or uh, Anniversary Ukiora. But that's just about it. Other uh, other than that, Retsu just kills in PvP, but. Alright, we're coming up against the boss. Let's just go ahead and kill it right now. Let's use the special directly. That, <laughs> I did not give her attention type, but Jesus, that didn't do shit, even with the high SP. But then again, she does not have this devastation, so it kind of makes sense. Oh, but it does insta-kill. Well, I mean, that's the only redeeming factor about the special for a unit that has flurry. But overall, strong attack damage build, not usable. I'm just gonna say that right off the bat. It's not usable. Alright guys, next up we have the hybrid build. So, uh, the links are exactly the same. 60% uh, uh, per uh, increase in the strong attacks right across the board. Yuki with 30% SP, Hollow Bay with 30% SP, and the uh, Pupples with 30% attack. Even though I'm getting rid of the focus, I still have the hybrid uh, accessories on her. And uh, yeah, she has an overall increase in everything when it comes to her stats. And of course she has 10, 10, 10. But anyways, let's just see that being put to the test with a hybrid build. I'm not gonna make be- I'm, I'm expecting this build to go even worse, just because, again, the strong attacks were not good, I, and I feel like my normal attack damage will be even better. But let's just see what happens. Alright, here we are in the game, let's just see how much... Yeah, normal attack already is doing quite good. Strong attacks, okay. Okay. So far, I feel like I'm doing the same thing as my strong attack damage build, which is kind of saying a lot, to be honest, because, I mean... Yeah, I have to say, hybrid build is actually way better than the strong attack damage build because I'm getting both the increase in both my normal attacks, the strong attacks, and, uh, yeah. Even though I'm gonna be using my normal attack, normal attacks a bit more, my strong attacks are still working out a bit more nicely because at least I have a, a balance in between both the actual stats and all. So I have to say, I already think uh, this is actually a better viable build, but not for co-op. I, I think it's better for single player, because, yeah. And, and of course my Retsu again is 10-10-10, there's not much to say about this. But, yeah, there's not... I don't know what, what else to say, it's just that this character is... <laughs> I don't know. I'm, not, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a bit more surprised this time around. Her, her hybrid build is actually working a lot better than her strong attack damage build. Like seriously, and I and I changed the accessories. The link, are, the links are exactly the same because she does not have frenzy. Just a thirty percent uh, berserker. That's all she has, and that's yeah, working out pretty damn nicely. But I know it, she still won't move because she doesn't have a freaking devastation. So putting attention tie on her would also be quite a bad idea. Besides, she has she can insta kill on her special, so at least that's something to go on about. But, uh, yeah. It's one of the better builds to go for Retsu, in my opinion, but I just don't go for hybrid builds in any character other than hybrid characters like Manga Byakuya or uh, Yukio or even uh, Shuren for that matter. You know, it's 
I'm not saying a lot because Shuden is just a DR link for Yama. <laughs> and, uh, let's get this shit over and done with. We're almost at the boss. Oh, crap. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, God, I ran out. Oh, God. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna die like that. I'm not gonna die like that. It's like, seriously, you got me fucked up if you think I'm gonna die like that. But yeah, now let's just go ahead and do the boss. But yeah, I'm doing like around 4k damage. I think I, I did more with the strong attack damage build, but anyway, so let's just go for the special. Minatsuki. Zakyo wa kore ni te oshimai. And it insta-killed. That's what I like to see. And that's the hybrid build. Uh, it's fun for PvE, but not co-op. That's what I'm gonna say. And that's the hybrid build for you. Now let's go on to the final build, which is the normal tech damage build. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the final build being the normal tech damage build. So we gave her Chappy with 30% attack, um, Hullabate with 30% attack, and Pupples with 30% attack. And of course, the links are full on normal tag damage links. No 25. No. I do have a Shunsui, the uh, 25 normal tag damage link, but he's not at level 200 and he gives out way less attack. So I decided to pop in uh, Homo and Shisuku, Tag Team Jushiro, and Stark. So that way I get the best of the best when it comes to actual stats. And now we're gonna put that to the test in uh, PvE and uh, use it on inheritance zone so let's go ahead and get right to it. Alright, we are back in. Now let's just go and see how much she's hitting for. Okay, that last string hit almost 8k. But yo, she's taking down enemies like as if it, it were nothing. Like, I just made her one of the hardest hitting units in the game even though the hardest hitter still has to be true Shika Ichigo because he can get at least up to 95% extra additional attack but overall she, she is actually a really hard hitter if you build her full, full normal tag damage build. Even though I, I do not recommend this build for autoing. Because really, when it comes to autoing, you're going to mainly focus in on the uh, uh, damage reduction build. Which is also the same build you're going to be using for PvP when bringing her into PvP. Because that's just the main focal point of using Retsu for PvP and autoing content in uh, PvE. And so far, she does everything. <laughs> There's a good reason why she's the best character in the game as of uh, almost a year into after she came out, which is insane, man. And the funny thing is that tomorrow her individual banner is coming out, so I wish the best of luck to everyone that is going to be summoning on her banner because you guys need Retsu for PvP if you guys want to get up to the higher leagues like third seat, lieutenant, and head captain and captain because it's just not easy without her at all like okay you have you have baja can also work for pvp and he's a must-have but really you're gonna want to settle in for retsu and also for autoing because she fucking heals on her second strong attack and her ultimate uh, not, not ultimate excuse me and her special which is saying a lot because not that many flurry units have that and she's the only one to be able to do so why isn't this enemy that? There we go. And we're almost done. I think we are getting this run done faster. I, I think. I don't know. Because I'm not trying to speed run this. I'm just trying to showcase Retsu. Alright, let's head for the boss. Now, now because I already chappied her, um, the, the SP will be completely useless. So let's just see if we can insta-kill. And yes, I'm sorry if I prod in a uh, friend. I, I did by accident. But anyways, let's see. Bankai. No insta kill, let's try again. Oh wow, she didn't die. Okay, let me step the hell back or else I'm gonna die. Cause my Unahana right now ain't tanking. Oh, but I managed to tank the- Oh no! No. Now... And that was Retsu for you. So anyways, when her individual banner comes out tomorrow, I recommend every single person to summon for Retsu because she is a must-have, again, 
for PvP, and let's just say that there is no way you can do PvP without her. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys uh, in my next one, or I'll be live streaming. I don't know. I'll just let you guys know when I'm when I'm gonna be doing shit. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and uh, ring that bell so that way you're notified every time I upload a video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.